In Central Australia, nature turns a vast drought-stricken area into a huge lake in places up to seven feet deep. For more years than the inlanders care to remember, the Fink River system spread out below has been bone dry, at best a chain of water holes after isolated thunderstorms. Today, Horseshoe Bend Station is inundated by the river with stockyards and homestead threatened. The railway crossing near the Fink River Township is washed out and floodwaters swell through a quarter of a mile wide. Usually a car can easily be driven across the riverbed, but nothing short of a boat could make the risky crossing at present. Alice Springs has become virtually an island with all road and rail transport cut off, possibly for it. RAAF transports have been enlisted to ferry supplies to affected areas. ...the situation and our cameraman with equal nonchalance. Cattlemen are now looking forward to a bumper season to make up for a long line of dry, battling years. The truly dry Todd River now contains assured supplies for the Alice, and the kids have never seen such water holes for swimming. The only man who didn't want rain is Victor de Fontenay, who runs Australia's only commercial date plantation. The wet weather is slowing the ripening of a crop which is almost ready to pick. He expects to lose 90% of it. With transport trucks and trains held up, fresh fruit and vegetables are short. Three quarters of a tonne of meat en route to the Alice by rail went bad. But the drought is over and seasonal prospects are the best in more than a decade.